Hello. Today we are going to be looking at tagging mice. This is a tagging tool and these are identification ear tags. Uh, they go, they come in a little package like this. You can get them numbered um, sequentially only, but you can start which number, you can pick which number it starts at. You can see, maybe, this is what they look like before they've been closed. And what will happen when you use the tool is this bit will go through this hole and be bent over when it meets the other side of the tool. So to put the tag into the tool, you're going to be putting the long side in the long side of the tool. You can see the longer jaw, the longer side of the tag. And it should fit flush with the top here and it should, uh, you can see there's a little divot right here at the tip. That's where this bit will go through the hole and hit to bend over. So you wanna have this inside the tool before you start to tag a mouse. Hi, boys. Okay, so this is our mouse. We are going to put the tag in his right ear. And what you want to do when you look inside the ear, and it's gonna be hard to see on this video, but um, there are two small ridges inside the ear. Um, you want to get them kind of in between those ridges. If you put the tag too far outside of the ear, it can rip out really easily. Or they can get their paws stuck in it. Um, and if it's too far in the ear, it can affect their hearing and it can get infected with stuff that comes out of the ear. So in order to apply the tag, you are going to have to scruff the mouse in order to get them to hold still enough. If the mouse moves during application, you can actually um, put the tag through skin instead of ear, and you really don't want to do that. However, if you're new to this and you happen to do that at some point, you just clip the ear tag out with some wire cutters and use the other ear next time. Okay, so we're going to try and get this where you can see the scruff. So when you scruff a mouse, you just want to do it kind of loosely so that you still have access to the ear here. Okay, and then you're going to take the ear and slip it. You want the, the upper part of the ear up here. Oh, hi, buddy. Um, over the top of the tool, and then you want to put the underside of the tool behind the ear here. Um, so that, I don't know if you can see the, the ridges or not. Hi buddy, come here. It'd be real hard to see on a black mouse, but you can sort of see them, the, the far one um, in there. No, it's not gonna focus, but okay. So you stick it in, I know. And then you just press down uh, very decisively, like that, and the mouse is tagged. Hi, buddy. Show him your earring. Yep. So as you can see, it did not go through the skin on the back of the neck. It did not go through the upper part of the ear up here. Oh, let's see. It's hard to see. I know, buddy. And it should not fall out at that depth. Let me show you another one. Um... You do have to be a little careful not to get bit. 
some mice more than others do not like being scruffed. Oh, sorry, buddy. Nope. We're not running, we're not running. It's okay. I know. Okay. So we just applied another tag into the earpiece. Um, in case I didn't say it before, the, uh, oh, sorry buddy, how'd you get stuck there? The long part, the part with the hole, goes on the inside of the ear when you're tagging, but it will shift around so that it's on the outside of the ear when the mouse is wearing it. Make sure we get that away from the neck skin. And then make sure you get the upper flap. Come here, buddy. I know. Oh, I know. And you can see they don't even squeak or anything. Like they're not, doesn't really hurt them any more than us getting our ears pierced does. They never bleed. And it doesn't, you can see he's not fussing with it at all. So it's just a good way for identification if you don't need to, to show a mouse. And that's it.